has always been a very special place for me. I went to college here. I went to medical school. The formative mentoring in my career uh, came from Penn. And for me, there's both a strong sense of coming home and a very strong sense of wanting to give back. My work in Washington has convinced me of the absolute urgency to help develop the next generation of health leaders for our country. I'm spending a lot of time these days uh, working in the global health area, uh, thinking about how it is that we build capacity in a whole variety of areas uh, to be ready for the next kinds of emergencies that come our way how we can be scientifically prepared and ready to study and learn, how we might have vaccines readier and faster, and how we might have capacity in developing countries to do the kind of research and studies that need to be done there instead of having to parachute people in from the more developed world to do that work, um, sometimes a little tone deaf to what the needs are on the ground. I'm continuing to think about how we can make our preparedness and response systems better and how we can use new technologies to innovate and think through how to best reach more vulnerable populations and to help build resilience. I do think it's a public health emergency. It's one of those slow emergencies that builds and burns over time and that people don't pay enough attention to until it's too late liken that to the HIV AIDS epidemic. It was a slow emergency that built and burned over time and got way ahead of us before we were able to think about how to get a handle on it. I think it's great to label it as a public health emergency, but that's only a good thing to do if you take concerted action. Um, what I've been struck with has been the lack of a really multifaceted big picture strategy about how to address it that involves for lack of a better term, multiple lines of effort, all working together at once. Instead, what I see is individual efforts around some component of what's going on in the opioid crisis, but not yet all the pieces working together. And one of the places that I think a place like Penn writ large can contribute is to look across the whole spectrum of drivers of the opioid epidemic and the whole spectrum of potential interventions and work to put together a much more holistic and concerted strategy about what to do about it. The first set of issues is what is it, it, what is it that drives you to do research in the first place? And what is it that makes you take on a question? I think people have this idea that once you finish your research and you write a paper and you have your two days in the media, that you're done. The work to change public policy is just beginning. And I think to start to understand and get the skills and to think strategically about how to do that is really important work to do. So I think that that's one whole area in which I think I can contribute significantly. Another area I think I can contribute significantly is to help people really frame the kinds of questions they want to ask and answer. You know, in health services research, there's this idea that if I just have the right data set, you know, I can do great things. And so people will take a data set and look at it and say, oh, here's a question that's never been asked and answered. I could do that. And they might spend a couple years doing that. Well, you first have to answer, ask yourself, is this an important question to ask and answer? If so, why? And what am I going to do with the results? And I think we could continue to help people learn to think that through at the front end so that they have a better chance of having their work really make an impact on helping uh, individuals or communities or the country get better. So I think what this reaffirmed is what a special place PEN is and what a special place LDI is. There's just a constellation of incredible people who come through the doors of this place all the time and get together and the synergy is amazing. First of all, it's really catalytic when it comes to ideas. People brainstorm and they get new ideas that they act on. 
there are a lot of people here with a lot of different points of view. So what you don't have here is groupthink. Uh, what you don't have here is that there's a politically correct way of thinking about things and doing things and acting on things. So you get a whole range of ideas. And with that range of ideas, I think, come new and different ways to solve problems. Mm -hmm.